What's up everyone, we're back with more Battlefield Earth 1 on the patch 2.2 suit. Today we're going to be doing a 2v2 against the Insane AI. We have a player ally, May Shadow Fax, with us today. And we're going to be trying to beat the Insane AI here. Uh, one Insane and one Medium over on the enemy team. And we'll see what we can make happen here. Might be a pretty epic game. And let's load on in. We are playing as Gondor. Our ally is going to be playing as Rohan. So we're going to be representing the good factions in this one. And let's jump right into it. As soon as he loads in, we are in it. Alright, let's get into it and let's see. Let's try to capture as much of the map as we possibly can here. There's quite a few farms out here on this map. So we can grab quite a few of them. And so let's grab a farm in our base too as well. Alright, we'll grab that heal because we're going to be trying to go for the Gandalf as soon as we possibly can. Gandalf the White is going to be so important to have. And uh, yeah, we'll just be moving across the battlefield now. Trying to find these outposts or these settlements so we can capture them and get some eco rolling. Because we're going to really need it for that Gandalf once we can afford it. And let's also get Pippin, full of a took, to go and... Uh, collect some stuff as well all right let's see let's see as how much we can actually capture and let's see what the AIs are on the enemy team since they were random all right nothing just yet so looking good we'll capture that middle one and see what's up over there we'll also capture this one and there's quite a few actually all over the place here that we can actually capture for little to no effort. Oh man, he is Isengard actually over here. Oh, that might be bad. Isengard is very strong as the AI. Oh, there's a goblin there here. Uh oh, we gotta try to go around it. All right, let's cloak because if we don't want to lose our hobbit just yet. They are chasing us quite fast. All right, another lair there. They want to go for it right now. And we'll capture this top side. Alright, nice. We'll move out on the field now and see what else we can see uh, out on the map. And we'll just try to maybe go down here and maybe try to creep if we can. Oh boy, they're already on us though. We have to just fight. Go to shield wall and fight this. Can't run away from the Urukai. They are a little bit too quick for us. And we'll get our farms going here on the map as well in our base. It's a little bit laggy. But it is what it is. Okay. So, looks like these guys are still chasing our hobbit, man. We can't actually get away. We can't creep anything. And that could be a problem. It's going to delay us a little bit now. Quite a bit. Oh, there's Uruku. Urukai actually trying to go in, huh? All right, hmm. What can we do against all of this, though? Yeah, there's Urukai coming to our base, but I mean, that's fine. We are Gondor. We do have that tower on our citadel, so if he comes in, it's going to be okay. As long as he doesn't have, like, Forge Blaze or Heavy Armor, it should be okay. But he doesn't want to come in. Smart of him not to. And I believe this Isengard is... Yeah, this, this is the hard, freaking insane army here for Isengard. So we're up against the Isengard insane AI. While our ally will be up against the uh, medium, the regular AI over on his side. So we're going to be qu in quite a bit of trouble from the start. We're going to get rushed down by siege, most likely. So we got to be kind of prepared for that. Look at that, he already has upgrades on his units already, and he's coming for us. He wants us gone. Let's cloak our hobbit once again, make sure we don't lose him. Make sure he is keeping them a little bit busy for now. And we'll get our farms going. And let's close the gate too, because that's a little bit too much. There's like berserkers and all kinds of stuff coming in now. And we don't want them in our base just yet. Alright, one berserker got in, but I think our tower should be enough, yeah. Our tower is more than enough to get him down. And good thing we're Gondor and not Rohan. Otherwise, it would be kind of screwed in a in a way. We have no towers as Rohan. But as Gondor, you have a nice little tower. 
Okay. We got our farms going. Let's get that marketplace up and running next. We're going to need Grand Harvest for sure. And it looks like he's going to be able to take down our last remaining farm. Which is a little bit unfortunate because it's going to take a long time to get this Grand Harvest and Marketplace up now. And yeah, we just don't have any farms. Let's see what our ally is. Yeah, our ally still has two farms. So he's going to have a nice eco boost starting things off. So we're going to probably have to rely on him for a bit. Uh, to maybe save us early on with his calf. Because we won't really have too much on the field. We will have that marketplace finally going out. Grand Harvest. And then we're going to get Boromir, Fedomir. And then hopefully into Gandalf. To try to save us from the wrath of this Isengard. Which is going to be coming here shortly. Right, let's get our Hobbit back out. And see what we can do with him. Try to lure him to us. Oh man, he already has a lot over here. Camping this side. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do too much here. He's going to cloak again. And just saving up money for that Grand Harvest once again. We are so low on the resources. We don't have any farms outside. So this is uh, a little bit of an issue for us. It's going to take us a long time to get up and running. Yeah, we're just kind of sitting here just waiting for this Grand Harvest. 1,500 resources and... Yeah, we're just going to have to sit here and wait and then get Boromir, Fedomir, and hopefully we can survive long enough before the siege arrives. Alright, nice. There's that Grand Harvest going to be up and running. And yeah, this Isengard is crazy right now. He has so much on the map already, we can't contest it. Hopefully our ally is doing good. And he should be able to build up a nice Rohirrim army with his Theoden Aemir. Well, we kind of just turtle for now. We are the eco turtle powerhouse. All right, what's our ally up to? He does have some auto hit him out on the map, which is good. He's going to creep, it looks like. Nice. So we'll level them up, get some more extra monies. All right, we're just saving up now for the heroes. We're going to need Boromir to save our booty. In case anything happens, battering rams or something. Bordemir is pretty good against battering rams. But we will have to open the gate. And that's going to allow a lot of units to come in as well. So that's a little bit scary. But yeah, we're going to grab Bordemir. It's taking so long, man. This is not great because we don't have any farms outside. So it's taking such a long time to get anything uh, in this game. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Fully upgraded already on some of his Urukai. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to wait for the Boromir. And then Fadimir as well. And let's sell one of these farms to get a well. Since we're going to need that healing. As we are going to be fighting with our Boromir a little bit. Uh, we're going to need power points as fast as we possibly can to get uh, Rohirrim summon. So we can actually live against all of the siege that he will bring. Alright, <clears throat> let's open this gate and let some units in. That way Boromir can level up and give us some power points. And that way we should be prepared for any siege. Alright, come in guys, come in. Meat's back on the menu, boys. Let's let in a few. We don't want to let in a lot. Because that way, if we let in a lot, they will go for our buildings instead of our Boromir. So, we don't want that. We just want to let a few in so that way Boromir can deal with them. They will focus on him and he will knock them down on the ground. Which is going to be good for us. Alright, this is nice. This is nice. We're slowly getting some power points, leveling up that Boromir. Seems like they are coming over to his base right now. Alright, nice. We have Bora Feramir. Now I can open up the gate. If you need my horses, let me know, mate. Okay, okay. Nice. Okay, okay. Alright, no siege yet, though, so we are okay for now. It's going to be a little bit difficult once the siege arrives, so we might need his help. 
but uh, we'll be a little bit prepared. We should try to get a trebuchet on our expansion that way. We will be safe against battering rams and stuff like that. And this uh, <clears throat> trebuchet will allow us to get some more additional power points and stuff too, as it does quite a bit of AoE damage, so it's going to be okay. Okay, Lurtz is out there. We'll actually use a trebuchet to take down Lurtz. That's actually a good idea there. Make sure he goes down. And it looks like our ally is out on the map, but yeah, he's going to have Glorious Charge, which is good. He's going to be able to get some money. Some power points. A lot of power points, though. And we're just a little bit busy now, trying to turtle up, trying to tech up, and we're going to try to get Gandalf as soon as we can. That way we're going for the big stuff right away. Instead of going for small stuff, we go right for the big stuff, right for the big money plays for that Gandalf the White. And yeah, that's going to be our plan to get out those big units, those heroes. We're going to level up our heroes, and that's how we're going to play uh, while our ally is going to be a little bit more proactive, going to have an army around the map. And yeah, it's going to be a good play. Both of us doing different tactics here. Alright, <clears throat> we should be okay here with this. They don't have fire arrows just yet, so our trebuchet should be okay. We do have heal too. We can actually heal the trebuchet with the heal if we need to. And what's going on over here? Yeah, that's a lot of units here for these units oh boy he got freaking gondor horn he got bodomir there he got frozen in place a little bit uh oh he might be in trouble does he not have huh how did he get frozen anyways i thought he had theoden leveled up already all right <clears throat> trebuchet doing good work we have three power points in the bank that means we are not yet safe. We do need four power points to get that Rohirrim summon. But so far it's looking very good. No siege just yet at the moment. But that's a lot of Zerkers, however. And that could be a little bit problematic for our heroes. They might be able to destroy us very quickly. And don't let all of them in. Let's let in a few. Uh oh, oh, oh. Ooh, that's all, actually a lot of them coming in, but oh, we do have that trebuchet, which should be okay. Bordemir also knocks them down. And yeah, we're going to be okay. Trebuchet. Oh, that's a lot of ballista actually coming. We gotta have this Rohirrim summon to deal with this. And even Saruman in the mix here. Yeah, let's use Rohirrim summon. That's three ballista. A little bit too much for us right now to handle with just our heroes. That's four ballista. That's quite a few. That's five ballista. That's six ballista. That's a lot of ballista coming at us with upgraded Urukai. And look at that. Saruman wanted to steal our Rohirrim, but he missed. Good for us. Because we will need to deal with this ballista. And there's another one coming. So they're going to be coming in more and more rapidly. Going to be filtering on in. And that could be a problem for us. As we don't quite yet have Gandalf. Yeah, lots uh, of Ballista now coming to us. We gotta let him know about that. But he looks like he's a little bit busy too at the moment. We should be okay for now. But we really need Gandalf to deal with these Ballista a lot easier. But yeah, so far, nice. Our Rohirrim allies actually dealt with most of the Ballista, which is very good for us. And now we're just waiting for that Gandalf the White to be affordable. 6,000 resources it takes to get him, and we should be able to get him. We do have enough power points for Gandalf the White. So it's only a matter of time until we can actually get him out and be fine, be safe from these Ballistas. At least be as safe as we can. We lost Pippin, not Pippin. Alright, Rohan allies are still actually doing a lot of work. Being quite proactive there, taking out the Ballista. That's a lot of Bombas though. Bombas for days all over the place. And yeah, those guys, those Rohan allies are doing such a wonderful job there. Of just saving us right now. Let's get Gandalf the White and we should be able to get him out now. Perfect. 
And I believe we should be okay. We are repairing our gate. So they shouldn't really break in unless they bring in a ram. Which they aren't yet. But they do have a lot of bombas. So we're going to be a little bit scared about maybe potentially a balrog. Uh, coming in and blowing up everyone. Army of the Dead is ready if you need. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, let's tell them to help with uh, horses right now because we, we're just waiting for Gandalf. We can't really do too much. Okay, now we do have Gandalf, so he came out just in time. I think we should be okay in that case. But he might be coming. But let's see. We, we got Gandhi. Let him know that, so... Let's see. If he's too busy, it is fine. Trying to survive over there, but we gotta try to deal with all of this. All these bombas in our base at our gate could be a big problem because if the Balrog comes, he's gonna breath fire on our gate and blow up all of our walls, and that's not fun. So we gotta try to take care of these bombas as soon as we can. Boom! Nice. That's a nice wizard blast here. He is coming to help out, which is quite nice as well. We'll be able to deal with all of these infantry while we try to go for the ballista as best as we can. But looking okay so far. But Gandalf is getting quite wrecked by these forged blades. Uruks, they definitely hurt a lot. Alright, let's turn around and now and try to focus down these ballista. Uh, while he deals with the ground forces. But there are quite a few pikemen now around him. Let's heal our Gandalf. Man, these freaking... Forged Blades Urukai are dealing a lot of damage to our Gandalf. And that's a frick ton of ballistas, man. This is a little bit problematic. <laughs> There's just so many ballista everywhere. And Gandalf alone... It might struggle a little bit against all this. Especially with those Forged Blades. They deal so much damage to Gandalf. And now we even have the Gondor AI over here too. With his tower guards and stuff. Oh, ho, ho, Feremer. Oh, shield bubble, shield bubble. Oh, my goodness. That was so close. Boromir, you crazy man. What are you doing out there? That was a little bit too close. Oh, man. Feremer wrecked us there. Holy crap. That was too close. Literally 1 HP on our Ganna. But let's, uh, yeah, clean up these ballista now. And we should be good to go. Just in time. Looks like our gate is still untouched. Well, that's good. But we do have a lot of bombas at our gate. And that could be a little bit of an issue. To say the least. As, yeah, the Balrog should be coming kind of soon now. At some point. This Isengard will actually get the Balrog summit. He even has a siege ladder over there. And yeah, there's the Balrog. Oh my goodness, this could be really bad for us. There's so many mines at our gate. Bombas could blow up everything at our base. All of our walls could go down. Alright, let's get everything into position to heal up our Bodomir Fedomir before this comes to us. Maybe he isn't coming. Maybe he's coming to our ally now. But we do have a lot of units in our base. Those siege ladders are a little bit annoying, actually. These Getting all these leveled 5 plus units into our base. And yeah, that's a lot coming on that siege ladder. We gotta try to deal with it. And uh oh, the Balrog is actually still coming. That could be very bad for us because we do have so many. <laughs> Let's uh, curse a little bit. Oh crap, don't do not do it. Don't use breath fire. Oh, oh that was so close. That could have been so bad. We would have lost right there. Uh, whoa, 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 what the heck just happened? Some kind of camera bug just happened. We we're just permanently zooming all over the map. Oh, that was a little bit too freaking close. I mean, look at all the bombas at our freaking gate. There's like six bombas. That would have been the end of our base, as you know it. Okay, we're gonna try to live though. There's so much crap. In our base right now, fully upgraded Urukai. Let's get rid of this ladder. This ladder is being a little bit problematic for us. And yeah, there's so many units. These guys will destroy our guys. But the good thing is our Gandalf is leveling. But let's not lose anything, shall we? The Ballista are still going strong. Our Eagles should be okay, though. 
And look at our ally. His gate looks like is broken, but he does have glorious charge. Have quite a few units out, which is good. And we should be okay. We dealt with the ladder. Just a few more units left in our base. Highly leveled units, that is. And let's deal with the rest of these ladders. The ballistas with our eagles. And uh, yeah, we're looking okay now. We're going to rebuild our wall. It got so low. Down to like 10% HP there. On that top side. And that could have also been very bad for us, but... Good thing we repaired it. Let's get an archery raid. Let's get some Athelian Rangers soon. Out on the field. And yeah, let's use the Eagles to definitely deal with the Ballista. That's no fun. Let's use this Eagle to deal with the Bombas at our base because... That could have been the end of us there. Like, maybe five more seconds, the Balrog would have destroyed everything. Trust me on that one, he would have destroyed, like, so much of our base. All of our walls would be, like, gone. And we would be so exposed... ...to the full power of Isengard. Alright, we'll grab Siege Materials because it's quite cheap and it's quite good. Alright, let's use Ranger Summon. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Use it, use it, use it. There we go. Use the land as well and get nice land all around our base. That way we have some nice areas to fight on. And we should be okay. We do have Gandalf. He's quite leveled up now. Have some archers. Boromir, Fedomir. We should be okay. We do have flaming arrows, but I don't know if we want to get that because that's a lot of... Uh, Mines everywhere, and that could be bad for us if we accidentally attack the mines. All right, we are fine though. Gandalf, Rohan, allies will be able to deal with this once again. Fedemir dealing with the siege ladders with his wounding arrow, which is quite good for us. We don't want him on our walls. That could be very bad for us. And yeah, we're just going to clean up all these remaining ballistas as many as we can. Because he is definitely spamming them left and right. Look at all the ballista. Look at all of these Urukai. That is so much Urukai. So much Isengard ballista, rams, and a bunch of Urukai. Alright, more ballista. Let's try to deal with that. But I mean, we're getting a little bit bogged down. And there's ladders, Zerkers on top, Sodom on. Training up his Urukai, that's a lot of stuff. And yeah, we're gonna have to be prepared for all of that shenanigans that might be coming quite soon to us. Uh oh, we're losing our Rohan allies, but they did their part. And yeah, look at this base, he has so many siege works. A little bit too many siege works. Let's look at our ally. Uh oh, he has actually getting quite rampaged right now. Actually, rams and stuff in his base. But, uh, we can't really do too much about that. We are a little bit too defensive at the moment. We have to play around this Isengard. Uh, this whole time, we can't really afford to help our ally yet. Maybe once we get Army of the Dead, we can actually help him. Looks like he has his own though, so that's good. We can also help with Army of the Dead because we won't probably need it. As a Gandalf is just a little bit too good as a defense. If he is played right, if he's microed well, he's more than good enough. Okay, looks like our ally lost a few buildings, but he looks like he's okay now. Which is good. Another freaking siege ladder, man. Fricker. Frick out of here with your siege ladders. Let's history light it. Frick this ladder, man. Get rid of this freaking bullcrap. Not again. You're not coming into our base once again. Okay, nice. History Light really deals very nicely with those ladders. One-shots them. And that is good for us, indeed. ba ba bum 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 ba ba bum da 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 Alright. Alerts is down. Bombas. Hey, trebuchet. Kill the bombas. Boom. 
Good. Good thing it doesn't blow them up. That would be so bad. If that actually did blow them up. A rally again. Okay. Dealt with those Boombas. And let's get a bunch of towers and stuff. Why the heck not, mate? And a siege ramp should be going down. Let's get that stone worker now. That way we will be so freaking prepared for any shenanigans. If he breaks in, we will have that stone worker with the laser towers. And we should be able to uh, defend ourselves in that case. What is our ally up to? Uh, Alright, should we actually help him with Army of the Dead here? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's help him out a bit so he doesn't have all this pressure on him. And maybe he can actually start going out on the map and dealing with some of their bases and stuff. So, yeah, we'll help him there. We don't need it ourselves, so we might as well use it off cooldown. Because there's no really point of holding on to it. When we could actually be helping out and trying to get map control for our ally. Because uh, Gandalf should be able to deal with this. We do have Rohan allies. And that's more than enough to deal with all these ballistas and rams and whatnot. And yeah, we should be okay. And we're going to have a laser tower soon. So we don't have any use. Nice. Gandalf can one-shot ballistas now with that wizard blast. He is level 8. So that does work out quite nice. The Balrog. Uh-oh. Did we get Gandalf down here to try to help him out? All right, let's move Gandalf down here. Okay, our gate is full HP. It looks like he's going for us, actually. Let's use that lightning sword on him. So he doesn't actually do anything to us. Okay, the Balrog should be going down now. Oh, looks like he's already expired. Okay. Don't even need to use Istri Line. We would have gotten him down anyways, so... That is fine for us. Gandalf needs to go back and heal while the Rohan allies and the Athelian Rangers will be able to deal with these armies that are trying to siege us down. More siege ladders coming. Our gate is fine though, but... It would have been bad. Alright, there we go. We're going to repair it. Make sure we don't actually lose that. Siege ladder, let's also take that down. That could be quite of an annoying thing to deal with. Two battering rams. There's all kinds of stuff I, all the time, man. We just don't, don't get a break from this uh, siege. And these battering rams are doing so much damage. Holy frick, man. They do like 20 plus percent of that gate every time. Okay, nice. I think we're okay. Yes, our gate is rebuilding, which is good for us. And our Rohan allies should be able to clean up the remaining forces there. All these ballistas should be going down quite easily. We have that Eagle Summon. We have quite a few things now. Gandalf level 8. He's going to be level 10 soon, hopefully. And we're going to have some more Rangers. Let's get rid of our Archery range now. We don't really need them because uh, Fire Arrows aren't too great of a choice here. Otherwise, we would be just destroying our base constantly. Without us knowing about it. Too many of these freaking bombas everywhere. And we don't want to really micro archers around and try to play around. That's a little bit too annoying. But let's just not get fire arrows and let's just focus on Gandalf. Alright, looks like our allies are going to use Ents here. And that could be a bull. That could maybe take down this base as well. Potentially. Bum, bum. Alright, we'll get a blacksmith going, so that way we can actually get some upgrades too, and we'll probably go into a stable at some point. So we can actually move out on the field with Gandalf and some Gondor knights, fully upgraded to take map control and destroy their bases and stuff. But first, we want to try to get Gandalf leveled up to level 10. Alright, looks like he's fighting there with the Ents, trying to keep them busy. And they don't look like they have any fire arrows, so those ants will be quite actually nice over there. 
Let's try to get Gandalf over here too. Try to get him leveled up because there's a lot of clumps of units here. Let's use Wizard Blast. If we can. Let's use it. Come on, use it. Noise. That's a big one. A lot of ballistas coming though soon to our base. Let's get Gandalf out of there. He's taking a little bit too much damage. That's a lot of war riders. And uh, we'll try to get a Numenorean stonework so we can have nice, juicy, big boy walls. Very juicy, sexy walls. And then we can actually delete it. Let's repair. Nah. Don't need to repair that, I don't think. Alright, we got the juicy boy walls coming, and that way we can be well protected against any possible ballista attacking our walls and stuff. Okay, we'll repair that now. And it looks like our ally is trying to take map control, trying to get some damage done now across the battlefield. Which is just what we kind of need. Be alert, rangers. We have a lot of rangers and Fadimir and Buramir and all kinds of good stuff. Okay, Gandalf. Try to level him, level him up safely. Okay, nice. We have those sexy bad boy walls now, and we should be able to get that stable going. And now what, we can actually make something happen across the map. Help out our ally with the buildings and stuff too. Still with the Ballista. Nice, that's a good army of the dead summon there. He's gonna go in now. And that's gonna be quite nice. Let's also help out here with our own Rohirrim summon. And nice, we're gonna help out here with Gandalf and the Rohirrim summon. And we're gonna try to take down this base. That is three siege works here. Let's use Eagle summon too. We're gonna go all in now. Okay, he's gonna do Glorious Charge. Let's go in with him and try to get it as well. Get as close as we possibly can here. So we can also make... Nice, we got it as well. So now we should be able to do a tremendous amount of damage. We should be able to take down most, if not all, of this base now. We have a tremendous amount of firepower now with that Glorious Charge. Eagles and all kinds of nice stuff. Let's try to get some cab units of our own out. That way we can also go across the map. Our right, Gandalf can go back in because he did tank quite a few arrow towers. We don't want to lose him. As he's going to be very expensive and going to take forever to respawn. If we do lose him. And we want him to get to level 10. As fast as we possibly can. Okay, there's going to be a heal. Our ally should be okay. He has pretty much everything alive, which is good. And we should be able to deal with this base now, hopefully. Yeah, it looks like we will. Okay, Sodomon. Nice. Gandalf got the last hit on that Sodomon. That means he got uh, so much levels from that. So much experience. He's almost level 10 now. And once he gets, let's get a level 10, we can show off the power of that word of power. You take this base, I have no resources. Uh, we don't either. We also don't have any resources. Uh, I, we don't have either. <laughs> yeah. We can't take that base, and there's too many warg riders regardless. We can't even take it if we, even if we could. Uh, the AI is on top of it. Uh, we are close, but we're just not going to be able to get it. We don't have any ways of getting additional resources. Only Boromir can, but Boromir cannot keep up with our cav units. And he needs level 6 for the pillage. Oh, frick, man. A Balrog? Uh-oh. There's a Boomba. Oh, crap. Kill the Boomba, please. Okay, good. It actually killed the Boomba. That's good. Alright, Gandalf, try to deal with this Balrog, please, as good as you can. Oh, frick, man, he actually breath-fired too. Opening the gate did not work that time, but we should be able to clean him up, though. Yeah, he's, he's done for. Let's ask for help because our gate is gone. 
And we might have a lot of units going to be coming on in now. Oh, did you guys see that Balrog? What the heck? He actually went down in midair while he was flying. That was pretty epic, actually. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need some help now. Because he's going to be coming on in now without that gate. We are wide open. But we do have a lot of rangers and stuff on the walls. We do have laser towers, so we should be okay-ish. And of course, we do have that level 10 Gandalf now. Which, yeah, it's going to be more than enough to keep us safe. Alright, let's rebuild a little bit now. Let's get horse shields going. That way we can go into the base as well. Not lose all of our Gondor Knights. Okay, nice. We have some end summons. And the war riders are... I don't know what they're doing. They're lost a little bit. They don't know what to do. Okay, nice. Our ally is here. So we should be more than okay. But, I mean, he just has all war riders right now. And, I mean, we can't really trample them down too easily. And looks like uh, there is a Rohan ally summoned from the other AI in our base, too, at the moment. Okay, our little riders in the back, we had to get them away from our base because they don't have upgrades yet, and we don't want to lose them. So we're going to keep them in the back of our base for now. Don't want to fight with them because they will go down in a heartbeat without any upgrades. But, yeah, we are getting our gate rebuilt. We should be okay now. And let's finally get those uh, upgrades for our Gondor Knights. That way we can go in with Gandalf and also pressure on the map. Yeah, should be fine right now. So he can actually move out and do whatever he needs to do. What the heck? Look at all those lumber mill workers, though. They're going to war. Alright, nice. His army is looking quite good. No, they are all leveled up quite nicely, and we should be okay now. We should be able to get upgrades. We don't have too much eco still, but we should be able to get them upgraded in due time. I right, fire arrows here. We'll deal with this to help our ends here. Nice. There we go. So his ends would will be okay. Our lumber mill workers are going to war, though. Okay, we'll get our Gondor Knights now positioned. The heavy armor is ready. Now we can go in with Gandalf with that heavy armor. We should be able to survive at least now. And try to actually help out now. Finally have a nice foothold. And oh, these guys, they'll see all these wargs. We're going to do something nice here. Let's do a nice, juicy wizard blast. Look at this. Boom. Holy moly. That was huge. Humongous. Humongous wizard blast. Or word of power. Holy humongous moly. Look at that. But they all survived. That was cool. But they all lived, though, from that weird... Yeah, they they lived, all lived. Huh. Interesting. Where where the power didn't actually take them down. But I mean they are so low now that any anything can one shot them. <laughs> the Shanks made them OP with HPP. <laughs> Warg Araidas are tanky. Okay, let's get everything going. All of our upgrades now are going to be fully upgraded. And we should be able to take out uh, this Isengard. Looks like he actually rebuilt his base, though. And uh, <clears throat> should be okay, though. I'm going to go in. Gandalf. Alright, our knights are healed up. Let's fully upgrade them all the way now with the Forge Blades Heavy Armor. And we should be able to fight with them now. As they will be strong enough to hold their own. Especially with Gandalf. And let's use our own Rohirrim. And try to finally take this base down. And prevent him from recruiting stuff from up here now. 
The enemy has grown stronger. Alright, let's finally deal with this base. There's that army of the dead summoned, so we should be able to take down this base now once and for all. And it should be looking pretty good. Alright, let's get banners for... Just to get them. I mean, it's pretty good. Okay, now we actually have a nice juicy army. Let's actually start moving out on the field as well. And try to get some stuff done. Try to take over that map control. Try to take out his outposts, his castles, all that good stuff. And we should be finally able to get this base once and for all from this AI. And we should be able to capture it if he does have enough for that. You have to take this base now. We don't actually have enough uh, money for it. Alright, let's get... Yeah, we don't have enough. Don't have enough monies. Alright. But it's good though, because we will be able to take this down. And we should be able to take this outpost for ourselves now as well. Let's level up everything as well. Okay, nice. He actually has 4k. He should be able to get it very soon. In that case. As you need 5k to take that for yourself. And we should be able to take that to prevent the AI from taking that back. Which could be quite annoying once he does rebuild everything. Get all the towers up and running. And yeah, it's, it's better just to take them right away. Alright, let's actually move out on the field for now. And try to get something done. Da, da, da. Okay. What do we need? What do we need? I don't know. More Gondor knights, I suppose. Couldn't hurt. Okay, nice. He got the base. So, now the AI won't be able to take that back, which is good for us. I haven't seen the Balrog in a long time, though. Where's the Balrog? Alright, Boromir, you are gonna be chilling. Don't engage them yet. And we can actually pick up fire arrows now because he doesn't have that siege works anymore. And we should be okay to go ahead and get some fire arrows. That way we won't be able to blow ourselves up with the Boombas. But that's a frick ton of war riders. What the heck is that? He has a full army of war riders. To try to stun them because we have all archers here. And that could be a little bit problematic. Let's heal everything. Because they definitely trampled down and hurt a lot. And we're going to just try to take map. Oh, there's the Balrog. Okay. That's where Mr. Balrog went. Okay, that's fine. He's not going to be able to do too much. As we should be relatively fine. We do have Gandalf still. And he could definitely deal with him. Alright, nice. Try to secure this as best as we can. We don't want to lose this outpost. Because we don't want to go back to our base and just sit there. Alright, let's get Gandalf and his knights over here to try to protect this as best as they possibly can. Okay, nice. The Balrog didn't get to do too much now. He only... Took down a farm. And we can just rebuild that right away. Not a problem. Not a problemo. Okay. Uh, we should be able to wrap this game up fairly soon. What is going on with our ally? He is chilling a bit. Camping in the base. Maybe healing up or something. But we gotta try to go out and get something done. As he's just going to keep coming. With more and more of these Warg Riders. Warg Rider. Wargs. Wargs, 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 Wargs. Look at all the Wargs. It's a lot of Wargs. We will have to fight them for now. But that just might be a little bit too much, though. Let's use Wizard wizard Blast. Boom! Nice. 
And this keep defending. Use the Athelian Ranger summon here to get some more defenses going and we should be okay. Get some more Gondor Knights out. That way we have a big massive army of these Gondor Knights fully upgraded with Gandalf. And we should be able to push out fairly soon. As we defend this base, let's repair our gate. It was at 0%. Uh, but it was still functional. Quickly now. Let's use Horn of Gondor. Nice. That's a big one. Stun them. Join together, men of Gondor. Let's level up everything we possibly can. As we will need these archers leveled up so they can defend us from all of this. As best as they possibly can. Alright, our ally is busy over here. Let's try to maybe... Well, we are just kind of buying a lot of time here by dealing with all of these units. While our ally can actually move across the field and get some damage done in that case. But we should also try to move out and deal with this as well. Find your courage. That's a lot of units. Maybe time to use another word of power on this, perhaps. Yeah, let's try to use word of power here. That's a little bit too much. Oh, yeah. Boom. And that was sexy, and you know it. Gotta leave a like for that one. That was so sexy there. And maybe we'll have another one by this game's end. All right, Bordermere, let's get him back. Yeah, we gotta pull back a little bit, try to heal up before moving out again. Okay, looks like he also took out a outpost, which is pretty good. But there's still another one left out on the field somewhere that's producing all of these units nonstop. Uh, but the good thing is we are quite protected. Our base is fine for the moment. And we'll get more and more Gondor Knights out. And yeah, looking, looking good, looking good. Alright, yeah, he's gonna have all of this. Let's tell him that the base is over here. He is here. And let's actually tell him to move on over there so we can actually finish this game up, finish that outpost. And uh, relieve this pressure from our outpost. So we don't have to keep defending it all the time. Alright, we're going to both actually push out and try to take that down. With both of our massive armies. Okay, well, our army is actually looking quite nice now. Look at all these Gondor Knights. They look so freaking cool too with their shields. Very powerful. Alright, let's use Istri Light there on that alert. Get him down. Nice. There we go. He is down and out. And I believe this should be the last outpost on the map. And then the Gondor base. And that's going to be it, I think. So just this left over. Plus the Gondor castle. And I think that's it on the map. I think we shall achieve victory. In that case, pretty good game, pretty epic game. We got Gandalf level 10, we got a lot of action on the map, lots of cavalry. And yeah, we got everything, all the power points, got everything we possibly need. Billion Rangers, Bora Fedemir. Yeah, pretty good game for Gondor. For Gondor! At last, yeah, he's finally gone. The spammer, yeah freaking spammer oh man Fedemir is actually chunking someone holy crap that's a lot of level 10 Gondor Knights so what the heck is that and holy frick man what the frick is that there's army of the dead he actually summoned army of the dead let's get the frick out of here right away that's a little bit too much let's get the heck out of here that's so many level 10 Gondor Knights and army of the dead at the same time what the heck did that AI do? He woke up or something. What the frick was that? WTF, he has so many level 10s. Look at all the level 10s. <laughs> He's on turbo. That is crazy amounts of level 10. 
What the heck was he doing with them? He was like literally chilling. With all of those units. He has way more than even us. We're probably gonna have to... Yeah, that's way too much. He has full pop cap of these guys. We have to use Army of the Dead here. <laughs> There's no other way to live against that. So yeah, that's gonna be a nice Army of the Dead. And just like that, in one nanosecond, all of that is gone. The power of the Army of the Dead cannot be underestimated as it is an incredible force. And it should be able to clean all of this up. Wow, what the heck? He had so many units too. <laughs> that whole entire time but we did clean all that up and we should be good to go that was a little bit close definitely a little bit too close for our taste but yeah we are good we are healed up and we should be ready to go out and try to finally finish off this ai and finally achieve a victory for Gondor and for Rohan. Alright, alright. Okay, looks like our ally also using Army of the Dead. And here we go, boys. It, is it time? Is it time? Is it time, boys, for another word of power? Oh, yes. It is indeed. Look at this. Oh, boom! Oh, yeah. That's a word of power. And that... There goes his army. Just like that. Alright, we... Yeah, we're looking good right now. Army of the Dead, it's cleaning up. All that he needs to do is summon the Ents right now to break in. And then we should be able to finish that off. Yeah, it looks like he has the Ents now. Working on that front door. And we should be able to go in. Knock, knock. Who's there? It is Rohan and Gondor coming in. Give give us some tea. Tea and crumpets, matey. Oh, yes. Let's get some tea and crumpets, shall we? Look at this. Nice, glorious charge. Eagles, Gondor Knights, Gandalf, ends All kinds of nice, juicy action gonna be able to win out this game and i hope you guys enjoyed that one that was a bit of a fun one a little bit of a 2v2 online multiplayer game against that insane ai and this ended up pretty fun got a lot done got to see everything in this game few word of powers which is always a treat to see gotta always love them and i believe we are gonna be able to achieve a victory here after this goes down and just like that, there he goes. He is gone from this land. And GG's well played. Victorious. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay safe and peace out.